you can go over and said in your word in Isaiah chapter 41 that it said uh, but you Israel are my servant I take uh, Jacob whom I have chosen the seed of Abraham my friend and whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called you from the chief men thereof and I said unto you you are my servant I, will, I have chosen you and have not cast you away for fear not for I am with you be not dismayed for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yea, I will help you. Yea, I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. If you're willing to do that for those people that knew not your son, I know you're more than willing to do that for the rest of us that do know him. Yes. And we thank you for your son, for Jesus, yes. that he gave us life, uh, life more abundantly yes. and more blessed than we could have ever imagined. Yes. And we thank you for this uh, gathering today and that you might bless this couple as they yes. come together today. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Who gives this woman away? 
Thank you. I don't know what else to say about that. Thank you. She's crying. Yeah, I think it'd be okay, son. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, you wanna stand right over here? Get in the picture there, my good man. Yes. Yeah. All right, Wyatt. Wait. Back up here. You gonna stand over here? Ow. You're all right. All right. To join these two. And holy matrimony, the marriage. Just like the Father gave his son to be our bride, or to be his bride. I gave us for him. I'll get it right in a minute. Uh, <laughs> Y'all know what I mean? Yes. Okay, so uh, in Genesis, it says that uh, a man shall leave his father and his mother and hold fast to his wife, and they shall become one flesh. And Amos. It asks, can two walk together except they be agreed? They can't walk the same direction unless they're agreed. Today we're here to come together in agreement for the joining of these two, Dennis and June, as one flesh in holy matrimony before our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. In Matthew, Jesus said, if two of you shall agree on, on earth, as touching anything that, shall, that, that that they ask shall be given unto them of my Father which is in heaven. This is the power of our agreement when joined as one flesh with each other that Jesus promised us. Anything is possible, nothing is impossible when we come together in agreement. 1 Corinthians says, Let the husband render unto the wife due benevolence, and likewise also the wife unto the husband. The wife does not have power over her own body, but the husband. The husband does not have power over his own body, but the wife. This is the true act of love between a husband and a wife, knowing that your commitment to each other enjoys faithfulness, trust, honor, loyalty, and patience by submitting your bodies to, your, to each other as husband and wife, as you would unto our Lord Jesus from either one. Also in Corinthians, it says love is patient and kind. Love does not envy or boast. It's not our arrogant or rude. It does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrongdoing, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things. Ephesians says, be completely humble and gentle, be patient, bearing one another in love. He also says, wives, submit yourselves unto your husbands, with unto your own husbands, as unto the Lord. And it also says for husbands, this means love your wives just as Christ loved the Lord or loved the church. He gave up his life for her. So as the Lord our Savior loves us, be multiplied and may his face shine upon you and all your days be long and fruitful. Matthew says, For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there I am in the midst. For without the power of Jesus Christ and his Holy Spirit in our midst, we're not, we are absolutely nothing, and our souls are at risk. I implore you to follow him in all his glory, in all his might, that you might be saved, and that goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your lives. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three after me. I, Dennis. I, Dennis. Choose you, June. Choose you, June. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To be my lawfully wedded wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better 
for better, for worse, for worse, for richer, for richer, for poor, for poor, in sickness, in sickness, and in health, and in health, until death do us part, until death do us apart. I promise to protect you. I promise to protect you and defend you, defend you, and keep you from all harm, and to keep you from all harm. To trust you completely. To trust, trust you completely. To cherish you always. To cherish you always. To honor you with patience to honor you with patience and love you as christ loved his bride and to love you as christ loved his bride all the length of my days all the length of my days i promise to accept i promise to accept and provide guidance from the holy spirit and to provide guidance from the holy spirit to better myself for you long and fruitful life that we may live a long and fruitful life in the presence of the lord in the presence of the lord and with each other and with each other okay june repeat after me I, June, choose you, Dennis. I, June, choose you, Dennis. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To be my lawfully wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. Until death do us part. Until death do us part. I promise to protect and defend you. I promise to protect and defend you. And keep you from all harm. And keep you from all harm. To trust you completely. To trust you completely. To cherish you always. To cherish you always. To honor you with patience. To honor you with patience. And love you as Christ loves his bride. And love you as Christ loves his bride. All the length of my days. All the length of my days. I promise to accept and provide. I promise to accept and provide. Guidance from the Holy Spirit. Guidance from the Holy Spirit. To better myself for you. To better myself for you. That we may live a long and fruitful life. That we may live a long and fruitful life. In the presence of the Lord. In the presence of the Lord. And with each other. And with each other. Do you, Dennis, vow that this commitment you're making here today before God to be the truth? And that you vow to be faithful, patient, and trustworthy, to give honor, love, and care for June, as long as you both shall live? I do. Do you, June, vow that the commitment you're making here today before God to be the truth, and that you vow to be faithful, patient, and trustworthy, to give honor, love, and care for Dennis, as long as you both shall live? I do. Matthew says, wherefore there no more twain, which is two, but one flesh. What therefore God has joined together, let not man put asunder. By ordination of the Holy Spirit and the authority of the state of Arkansas, I now pronounce you husband and wife. We gotta put our rings on though. <laughs> yeah, you should have done that when I thought of that. <laughs> yes. I think this you we didn't have a dress rehearsal, so. No, we did. That was the point you should have started when you started doing your commitment. Exactly. That's all right. No way, he goes on this finger. <laughs> yeah, wrong hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's the one that I haven't painted again, Wow. We're, we're the un unusual couple. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, that's it. I'm, I have already pronounced you man and wife. Uh, so, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I have to present to you. Kiss you can kiss anytime wait, you want wait, to. Wait, wait, all this time. Lip lock. <laughs> you, better say, you may now kiss your you bride. You can kiss your bride. Mrs. June Don Weir. Yay! Yay. Yay. Yay.